being the most successful team in this tournament you can't for any ask for anything bigger this is as big as it gets and done davis omweno yet again the uganda revenue authority man very skilled and probably important for them to get uh, uganda beforehand just before uganda uh, warms up because when uganda warms up they just become a very difficult uh, proposition altogether wagaluka good interchange of passes the one two very good for the ugandan side and he's brought down and uh, Rivai feels that uh, there was lead to or no contact but for Danny Wagaluka you feel that maybe the decision is rather harsh against him Dennis Davis Omweno saying there was no foul there well Wagaluka was a tripped and uh, yeah it does show he was tripped but the referee not considering it probably didn't see it it's a heat of the moment and you make a decision into the box and uh, again Wagaluka Ball hitting on uh, his legs could not make seriously connect that one. Danny Wagaluka. His day does find uh, chances uh, to to net uh, the goals as uh, they come, but this time he is the one that is uh, distributing the balls, so he's left it to Risa Ngasa and John. That incident, but it's Stephen Bengo to turn him away to the right. They always look for Danny Wagaluka. They seem to be having a few day on the right. Just that splitting pass in the final third from but Tony Maweji to Danny Wagaluka. So 30 minutes played in this match. Still Uganda new and Tanzania new now. It's Uganda on the attack. Danny Wagaluka trying to negotiate his way through a cluster of defenders. Simeon Massa comes in to support. The cross comes through. An opportunity wasted by you. So the same story begins for Uganda with Danny Wagaluka on the right. Good interchange of passes. As Tanzania have committed more in uh, Tanzania, who get it. so the journey for Tanzania. This Uganda side to the right, Simeon Massa, and uh, Danny Wagaluka brought his uh, yellow card caution. Mike Serumaga to the right, Danny Wagaluka is it inside and uh, first corner in the second half. Well, Danny Wagaluka's uh, corner probably did have a little bit more power because uh, not very well cleared. Uh, He's praying very hard that uh, at least the team should get into this the final and probably win it because uh, they won it back to back under him 2008-2009. Uh, Wagaluka brings it in and uh, Tanzania standing out. So he did not produce a winner. Thereby, the game had to go into the post-match penalty situation in which Tanzania won 4-3 now Wagaluka with a cross and uh, huh. that uh, to shock the other ah Wagaluka and he committed himself straight into the middle of traffic three players ahead of him well, what's suddenly it? making it not possible for him to provide that cross Danny Wagaluka but uh, that's exactly what Wagaluka Came off around his foot. That looks like it's going to be the first corner of the match within the first minute. Ghost Uganda have declared their intent very early. Oh. Wicked deflection. Wagaluka! Offside. Well, at the defense, where were they in that short corner? Bengo played very tricky. They were all in the box, but they left somebody. Look at that. All unmarked, and that was the chance for Tony Mawenje to go one up for this Ugandan side. But uh, Rwandi still survived the sixth minute of this cup final with his side being so dominant early on. Wagaluka rides the tackle well, keeps it in. Perhaps would look to come short after that early onslaught from Uganda. But it's Wagaluka who finds some space quickly snuffed out. Beyond Ziva. Massa. Massa rides one tackle. Can he get a decent cross in? Yes, he can. Bengo saw it. Bengo. Wagaluka. One nil. Don Wagaluka puts Uganda ahead in this final. After a goal mount scramble, Don Wagaluka has put Uganda 1-0 up and Coach Bobby Williamson enjoyed that as well. Well, Paul, you're right. Look at Massa. 
the three, one of the three dangerous players comes to the line, sets another 45 here, and Rwanda is not able to deal with it. There was a specious penalty. The referee played on for the Ugandans because it was still their ball, and Wagaloka makes no mistake here. That is the man, Wagaloka, one of the most dangerous players in this uh, crane side. He scores his only goal in the tournament and he knows it. What a smile, what a celebration. And Ugandan, they got what they've been fighting for, for the entire 45 minutes in this game. 14 minutes to be played in this second half. And Rwanda really dig down into their memory bank and come back into this game. But the way the Ugandans are playing, they are in no mood at all of letting the Rwandans come back into this game.